the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 316, Acts 1 2. The Disciple Era. The resurrected Jesus gave his disciples hope and vision whilst promising them the Holy Spirit and commanded them to preach his love to all the nations. First point The atmosphere of the 30 years of Acts is that of opposition between the apostles and the high priests in the midst of spreading the kingdom of God. After Jesus ascended into heaven, as promised, the Holy Spirit came upon the early Jerusalem church, and this spurred the Christians to love and serve one another. Acts furthermore records how the spreading of the gospel occurred from Samaria to the Andes of the earth. During the 30 years of Acts, churches became established and thus Christians were born. During this time, there were many teams that went out to spread the gospel, and one of them was Paul's team. The Book of Acts plays an important connecting role within the New Testament. First, seen historically, Acts is in between the four gospels and the letters. Second, Seen religiously, Acts bridges the Jews and the Christians. Third, in terms of God's history, Acts bridges God's laws and blessings. Fourth, in terms of God's people, Acts connects the Jews to the foreigners. Fifth, in terms of God's plan, Acts bridges a kingdom of princes and the kingdom of God. Second point. Jesus, who started his public life by fasting for 40 days, stayed with his disciples for 40 days after resurrecting and taught them about the kingdom of God. Luke connected Acts to the message of Luke's gospel. After Jesus ascended to heaven, the disciples waited for Jesus to send the Holy Spirit to them. The reason they were able to do so was through Jesus' teaching for the past three years about the Holy Spirit. Thus, as they promised Jesus, they waited for the Holy Spirit to dwell among them. Jesus taught his disciples to wait for the Holy Spirit and also taught them about his second coming. Jesus emphasized that no one knew the time for Jesus' second coming other than God. The disciples who now wholeheartedly believed in Jesus became his witnesses. Their mission was to spread to all nations what they had seen and experienced for the past three years with Jesus and to ultimately live as Christians. The disciples were to become apostles and to first take on Jesus' yoke and learn. Second, they were to take their cross and follow Jesus. Third, they were not to leave Jerusalem and to wait for what God had promised. Fourth, they were to become Jesus' witnesses. And finally, they were to make disciples of all nations and to teach them the gospel. Third point, as the Mana generation were formed after 40 years in the desert, the disciple generation began after three years of Jesus' public life. The Mana generation were born from the hard works of Moses. Jesus also formed the disciple generation after three years. After Jesus ascended into heaven, the disciples waited for a few days in Jerusalem and prayed together. With the official formation of the disciple generation, they put together a network. The first of this involved replacing Judas Iscariot, who had betrayed Jesus, and the disciples who had become apostles started to search for someone to replace Judas Iscariot. 
Peter replied to what was written. He had learned this from Jesus during the past three years. Indeed, this was Peter referring to the Old Testament. We can see just how thoroughly the disciples were educated during the past three years from Jesus. Jesus said it is written many times. To look at a few, it was said during the Last Supper. It was also said to predict Peter's denial of Jesus. It was said right after Jesus was arrested in Gethsemane. As such, Jesus ministered according to the records. At last, the apostles found the person to replace Judas Iscariot. The two contenders were Matthias and Joseph, and the apostles all prayed before ultimately selecting Matthias. Fourth point, God's Holy Spirit came upon the disciples in the attic of Marcus' house rather than the Jerusalem temple. At last, the Holy Spirit that Jesus promised and the apostles most anxiously waited for finally came to Mark's attic. The reason the Holy Spirit came to Mark's attic rather than the Jerusalem temple was because when Jesus shouted, It is finished on the cross, the curtains of the temple ripped in half, which officially ended the function of the temple. This was the fulfillment of the words written in Isaiah and Joel. Fifth point, after the disciples received the Holy Spirit, the Jerusalem church began spreading God's word. When the people heard Peter's message, they all felt guilt in their hearts. Peter then told them to repent. In order to become holy people in the kingdom of God, they first had to repent, be baptized, receive forgiveness, and then be gifted the Holy Spirit. After hearing Peter's message, 3,000 people repented in Jerusalem. Finally, the people whose bodies had become the temple of Christ gathered to form the early Jerusalem church. The early Jerusalem church was a place where people gathered to pray. It was also where many markers were revealed. It was also where the people brought all the goods together to share. It was where the people gathered to worship God and to love one another. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.